Today we'll be talking about prevention and early intervention in behavioral health, promising practices. I really think we have to look at prevention and treatment as the investments that they are. I think too often we wait until there's a national crisis and then we, and then we spring to action. And I think it's more important that we look at working with kids at the very earliest stages of showing that there's a problem, whether it's um, potential substance abuse or aggression or anxiety, and that we intervene as soon as possible and that we don't wait until a crisis happens. A lot of people don't really conceptualize addiction this way, for example, but addiction is basically a pediatric illness. It starts when kids are in their <laughs> teens and blossoms more when they're adults and is responsible for tremendous loss of life, uh, tremendous loss of years of life. And uh, I just hope we can sway more healthcare professionals in general to pay attention to the behavioral realm. It's responsible for 40% of deaths in our country. And clearly, uh, it's not getting 40% of attention and training. Obesity, smoking, diabetes, all of those illnesses, um, along with uh, mental health and substance abuse prevention and promotion, belong under the same roof. Having them all under one roof will not only guarantee continuity of the services, but it will guarantee a bigger prevention of physical health.